Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. In this session, I am going to tell you uh, how do we pass JSON file using data flow activity and if time permits, using copy activity as well. Alright, so we have couple of uh, JSON files in the uh, data like storage and I will show you the structure of the JSON file that we are going to pass. Okay, so this JSON file is called array of JSON. So why do we call it as an array of JSON is it the square bracket that uh, is present in the beginning and the end makes it an array okay inside this array object you will have multiple uh, elements this is one element followed by one more element okay so when you uh, see this array this is nothing but array of json objects okay the whole thing that i have highlighted is a json object and uh, we have two json objects in this file so number one is with id vr suba second is second record okay so we have two elements one is this another one is next to the comma we are going to pass this uh, particular json using data flow activity okay when you closely observe the structure of this json this is an array as i uh, told in the beginning inside this we have uh, multiple json objects okay so this is uh, uh, one json object and uh, this is one more json object I'm sorry and uh, inside this qualification uh, object if you see we have one more uh, university um, object okay these are embedded ob uh, basically I just wanted to put up some details about uh, uh, profile of each uh, person uh, about his work experience about the qualification and all I just wanted to put some uh, uh, data related to it so there will be a header uh, in the beginning followed by that qualification inside the qualification if you see there is a highest qual these are all attributes highest qualification year of passing grade total years of study followed by that university okay so similarly we have work object so it, it talks about uh, basically the experience uh, of the work that the person is doing similarly we have one more uh, uh, row uh, it, it starts with header and it has a qualification tag and it has work so the structure of all the json elements inside the array are similar okay it starts with header and then proceeds with qualification and then with work all right so this is the structure that we are going to pass in the you know, data flow activity i will show you one more uh, um, kind of uh, json file with even more complications okay this is not much complicated i would say because it is just an array of individual json elements so when we try to convert this a json file to a csv file we will be seeing two records one for vr suba and second for second record okay so for this vr suba element you will have a date time you will have a highest qualification year of passing all these attributes will be converted to uh, columns okay so i'll show you how it works um, how do we have to pass it using data flow activity that is what i'm going to tell you right now so let's go to the data flow in this data flow uh, this is the source that i showed you i'll show you that once again so we have this array uh, starting with vr suba and uh, ending with second record okay there are two records so this is uh, the schema of the file that i talked about it has a header inside header we have an id and date time inside qualification we have uh, four attributes and inside work we have few more attributes so <coughs> this is array of json objects so what we need to do is go to data flow if you look at the data preview of uh, this particular file that i am talking about you will be seeing uh, it in different json objects so header is a json object qualification is another json object and uh, work is another json object so you you are seeing here right whenever you are seeing curly braces it means that that is a json object okay so we are able to see all the details and inside that we have one column called university this in turn is another json object okay i'll show you once again so inside every qualification you have university which is one more json object okay that is why it is showing it as um, array here <coughs> okay json object array all right so this is the data preview in the first uh, place if we try to use flatten activity normally flatten activity will be used to uh, convert an array into uh, individual elements right it is going to flatten an array basically <coughs> whether json array or 
an object array it can work on arrays basically but in our case we don't have an array in the first place we have uh, these are all json objects okay so in order to parse this kind of data we need to do one aggregate activity okay inside aggregate activity uh, under group by you don't have to mention anything but under aggregates we have to use this collect function i'll open this and show you this collect function will be converting the object into an array format okay why do we have to do this only if we convert the object into an array we will be able to flatten it okay otherwise what is going to work do us i if i add the flatten activity directly here you will not be able to unroll by anything so there is a column called unroll by or unroll root okay uh, if your uh, source is not a properly formatted array you will not be able to see anything in the uh, unroll by drop down okay so for this um, purpose only we have to use an aggregate activity inside the aggregate activity you have to collect so we have three objects as i showed you in the preview header is one object qualification is another object work is another object so what i am doing i am using a collect function and inside that collect function header equal to header qualification equal to qualification work equal to work at the rate uh, in the beginning okay this will convert my json object into json array in the corresponding um, <coughs> name okay we are reading header and assigning it to a header array we are reading qualification object and assigning it to a qualification array work object is converted to work array okay so once this collection function is uh, executed we will be seeing an array of elements okay not objects so objects would have been converted to proper array and uh, we can make use of the flatten option after that okay so if you see this uh, we have collected all the um, all the columns all the types of objects into header column okay so this is one single column uh, which is going to ha hold all the individual elements of my json file okay so if you look at the data preview and click on it we have uh, two records one for via suba and second one for second row okay inside the header if you check you will have all the details present in the header tag okay so this is uh, this is just to convert json object to a json array okay so this header is holding all the individual uh, arrays which can be flattened next okay in the flatten activity i am choosing just a header okay we don't have to choose any other thing we just have to choose header because all the individual objects are collected into this header object or header array okay so i am just choosing that header I, I we don't have to do unroll root and all so after i have chosen unroll uh, by then you will be able to add individual columns if i click on fixer mapping you will be seeing all the individual elements under header you have two attributes under qualification you have uh, three attributes under university you have couple more attributes so individually you can click click and uh, uh, it naming will be automatically coming as and when you choose for example if i choose year of passing year of passing will automatically come here similarly i have to uh, do the individual mapping for all the individual elements or attributes of my uh, json file and once i do this i will be able to see the complete set of attributes uh, in two rows uh, we have two rows in the json uh, file right so we'll be seeing two records which will in turn be written into a csv file in the sync so in the sync i'm just writing it to a csv file directly okay so if you see here one is for vr suba second is for second record okay this is how we flatten before flatten uh, if you are not able to unroll by then uh, do a collect operation okay so probably your source is not in the correct array format which can be flattened <coughs> i'm sorry so just make use of a collect function which will convert object to an array which can then be passed on to a flatten uh, activity okay this is number 1 i have another file to talk about uh, i will show you this it is more or less similar to the earlier uh, uh, file but in this case i have university coming up as array okay whole uh, document is an array document inside this inside this we have header uh, as a json object qualification as another json object work as another json object inside qualification we have one array okay so uh, uh, the whole document itself is an array inside that we have multiple json object inside the json we have one more array 
it's kind of nested array okay in this scenarios we will have to have a uh, couple of more flatten activities okay i will show you how that works but before that uh, let me tell you how is the expected result so we have vr subha inside vr subha we have university array this university array brings two records so one for ug and one for pg so vr subha for this particular id uh, ug should be from sastra university and pg should be from crescent university okay so for vr subha alone we'll have two records and for this uh, second record we just have one university details and it teach okay so totally there should be three records two for uh, uh, vr subha and one record for the second record okay this is how we have to uh, understand or this is what is expected out of this file so in order to do this similarly uh, however we showed for other file right i will show you the data preview and all but only difference you can see between these two flows is we just used one flatten here but we have to use two flattens here because there are multiple nested uh, uh, arrays inside your json file that's why we have to use as many flatten activities as required okay so if you see here university alone is coming as array okay because university is not an object it is coming as an array all other uh, are as before header is an json object qualification is another json object work is another json object inside qualification you had this university in the form of array okay similarly we do a collect operation here similar to the first flow and then we do a flatten uh, we are collecting all the details into an array okay this is the object and uh, the first flatten activity is unrolls the whole structure by array okay so when i do that i will be able to access all other elements of my json um, file so once i uh, do flat first flatten activity i will be able to read these properties these properties and these properties except the university property okay this alone will be will still be an array it will not be read properly because we have to use one more flatten on at the end of first flatten i will be able to read the individual attributes of the json objects okay i will show you that i can read id university uh, this university will be an array i will show you how it works uh, rest of the properties can be directly accessed total years of study industry date time highest qualification everything will be individual attributes except that this university will still be an array okay how do i say it is still an array if you look at the data preview all the other individual attributes will be passed correctly except that university will be a um, array value or array object okay if you see here i'm seeing id i'm seeing total years of study industry date time everything in a proper format except that university is an array and if you click that for we are subha we are seeing two records and then the second record we are seeing one record so totally after we do one more passing or one more flattening we will see three records so uh, this time the flatten is going to be on this university previously we did it on array and this time it is going to be on university see here unroll by university and it is uh, our responsibility to, to add all other attributes that are coming from the previous flatten otherwise you are not going to be writing it to the sink okay so everything has to come from the previous fla uh, flatten activity and uh, after you have unrolled it by university you will be able to access name of the university location of the university ug or pg so at the end of this flatten activity you will be seeing three records which can be written on to the sink okay so this is how uh, we parse a document with nested objects or nested array see here it will be coming perfectly and one more thing you need to keep in mind is whenever you are dealing with an array of json objects or array of uh, uh, json arrays you have to choose under source option J there is a json settings inside this you have to make sure you are choosing as array of documents okay so for the first file also i have chosen it as array of documents for the second option second file that i showed you now also i have chosen as array of documents Be because the file brings us data in the form of array of different individual json objects okay if you are going to choose any other thing like single document or document per line you will not be able to preview at all it's going to throw error okay 
so this is what i had for uh, this session since uh, we are crossing 15 minutes i am not covering the copy activity part of it in the next video i will take you through uh, the copy activity how how to do the similar stuffs in copy activity whether it can be done or not also okay thanks a lot for watching uh, if you have any questions or suggestions please let me know in the comment section thank you so much